What's up, Terrifics? Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2020 live high atop Central Hall at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm Michael Artsis, and this is Be Terrific, your live continuing coverage. You know, we're having a lot of fun. We're doing a lot of great coverage for you, so don't go anywhere. Keep it locked right here at Be Terrific TV on all social media. And I've got Michael here from Sharing OS. Now, you've heard of the Bird Scooters. You've heard of the Lime Scooters. You've probably used some of those. Well, maybe you want to start your own business or a smaller version of those. That's where Michael and Sharing OS come in to play. You guys do a turnkey solution for everybody, right? Exactly. Thanks for having me, Michael. It's good to have you here. Thank you. So what we do is that we provide a turnkey solution for mobility sharing. So we provide all the vehicles, software, backend, front-end app, customized fully, as well as the charging solution and the batteries. So that's to facilitate everybody who wants to get into the business, companies or entrepreneurs. So it's a very interesting thing. You could have... Uh, uh, a, a pool of scooters for your employees that they could go and take lunch breaks or go between buildings or facilities and you provide that as a service you know you you would provide the whole setup as a service additionally I could be an entrepreneur and say wow birds doing very well limes doing very well I like to start my own version or I'd like to start it uh, in my community or my small town and see what I could do with it and 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 then I can do it um, and you have bikes and scooters and all sorts of stuff that's exactly the point of why we started the company. So we found that mobility sharing or micro mobility sharing is going to be a very great market. We have seen people really love Lime or Bird scooters. And I love Lime and Bird scooters. I ride them. Yeah. But they currently only serve like large cities and uh, because the, the cost of serving smaller cities and having people on the ground is very expensive. However, we find everybody loves these kind of uh, facilities and people want to reduce the car ownership, right? So, but for, for in a small town or in a university or in a campus as a, for a company, it's very expensive to have a whole software team or hardware team to develop the products. So we think that's the, the job we can have to providing them everything they, they need Ooh. to start a business. What about in China? I see a lot of people on bikes in China. China. I see a lot of people on scooters in China, but I, I think there's if, if a company could provide their uh, employees in China with scooters to get around, it might be good, especially the, those who live in dorms. Yes, yes. In China, this uh, mobility sharing started from China 2016. It was really, really popular, and it spread over to to, to the U.S. as well, and uh, and uh, in the in Europe, and people love it. And that that's oh. fun for what about college campuses in the U.S.? If I wanted to go to Ohio State University and and set up a, a mobile share scooter business. Business. What, what would stop me from doing that and why not? No, nothing can stop you as long as you can get the license from the university sure. and uh, you can get a system from us, you can start a business in two months' time. Now, what would that cost? Like, to let's say I wanted uh, 200 uh, scooters. Uh huh. And a hundred bikes. Is uh -huh. that? And when I say what it costs, you don't have to quote it now. But is that tens of thousands of dollars? Is it hundreds of thousands of dollars? Is it millions of dollars? What What is it? Uh, what would it cost? Just a range. It's about a. Uh, uh one hundred thousand dollars, really, to start a business. Yeah, which is that seems pretty reasonable, yeah, achievable for yeah. a lot of entrepreneurs. Yeah, and if you put a business <coughs> plan together, maybe you can go get a loan from a bank, or you could take your savings and start this. This is very interesting. I mean, when you think about it, it'd really be great for college campuses, would it not? Yeah, I think so. Because uh, in a lot of uh, campuses, there's not a lot of good transport options for the students. They, they only work on their foots and the, the, the dormitory is such as very far. And these kind of options is great. And there's a lot, a lot of vandalism or theft in the campus. So this is great for, for the universities. What I always think about with, um, with the bird scooters and the lime scooters are two things. One, how do you keep them running? Like uh, in San Diego, they were having problems with people throwing them into the ocean, getting you know, inebriated and throwing them into the ocean. Uh, over there and and so how do you keep them maintained and safe that's a very good question Michael so what we have found is that this is great business to run but to the problem as you said vandalism theft and how to run smoothly to to keep the the, the assets on the, the places the cities wants to, to keep so we have technologies that we have cable lock uh, installed on the scooters so we require the users to to keep the the, the scooters in the base 
that uh, the, 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 the operators want them to keep, and then we can ask the users to take photos to verify they put into those uh, places. So, so it's a little bit more advanced than what Bird and Lime do, because at Bird and Lime, you just leave them on the street wherever you mm -hmm. want, and you walk off, which is a, a nice lot of feature, troubles. but again, they're throwing them into the ocean in San Diego, uh, and that, <laughs> that doesn't seem good. Um, what about safety? Uh, do people have to bring their own helmets? Or, I mean, what do you do about that? Because I know that that's a concern uh, with riding a bicycle or a scooter or anything like that. We definitely recommend people to have their own helmets or yeah. having the operators to provide the helmets for the users. But like, for instance, I was in LA and we had to get somewhere quickly and we just jumped on the, the birds. Mm -hmm. We didn't have helmets with us, but it's dangerous. It's, it is dangerous. Yeah. I think uh, our, our idea is that people should bring their own. There's a lot of new technologies with foldable helmets. Yeah, I've people should that. have one that's pretty in good. their own bag. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, we should do. We should find them on CES and bring them on. So, how did you start this business? You're the co-founder and CEO. How did you start the business? Yeah. So when when actually I was I used to be an invest banker mm -hmm. in the UK and I saw this coming and I I, I become uh, enjoy investing in this business. But my co-founder has been based in Shanghai and we want to bring this to Europe. So I I started as a co-founder with him in, in the UK. And when we started, we started a operation company by our own. We are we were the first UK's uh, free floating bike sharing company. When we start, it was really popular. We have people coming all over the world wanting this system. So we said, okay, people from Mexico, people from Ireland, people from France. So we said, oh, why, why don't we just become companies specialized in providing the system to them? It seems like a great idea. Um, what about regulations? Do you worry about regulations? Um, I know Uber had a lot of trouble with regulations. Uber, uh, with, with their cars, had trouble here in Vegas, had trouble in New York City. Um, they're starting to do this stuff as well. Um, have you... Do you worry about regulations with, I want to start this as a business, I'm willing to pay you money, but now I have to go up against all these regulations in Madison, Wisconsin, where I'd like to put this at the University of Wisconsin? On the contrary, uh, regulation is a tailwind for our business yeah. because we find that regulation and the city uh, councils, they, they like to have local business to run uh, the mobile sharing and instead of having a large a, a large company, company like Bird. Or, so, or yeah, or and these guys usually become uh, quite small companies and medium-sized companies. Right. They don't have technology, so they come to us for help. And, and do you help with the regulation? Do you help them understand what the regulations are in different places and how to navigate that? Exactly, because we are, we are, we are a global business. We currently running 12 countries and 32 cities all over the world, including Mexico, Europe, and uh, Southeast Asia, Middle East. So we not understand the regulation in different places and the best practice over there. So we can tell the new entrants how to do it, how to do it in your cities. This is great. This is very entrepreneurial. I like it. It's a good story. How, how big are you guys today? How many uh, places are you in? How many cities are you in? So we are currently in 32 cities across different continents. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, do you have any huge partners? Like, has some company like Uber or Lyft reached out to you and are they working with you as well? Yes, we have uh, very large energy companies yeah. coming to us. We have uh, auto OEMs coming to us. Currently, we are working with world's largest car parking companies, Indigo Group from France. Sure. Yeah, they are currently operating in 750 cities in the world. What they want is that they, they worry about in the next 10 years, their car parking business is going to be enroached by people using autonomous cars, sure. robo taxis. So they want to embrace mobility sharing. It's, in it's very freeing to just get on a scooter and go. Have you ever thought about uh, here at the convention center uh, making a deal with them to rent it to people who want to go to their hotel? Well, at a convention like this, it's nearly impossible to get out of here. Exactly. That's a, that's a very good idea, Michael. Yeah. So we have been actually uh, approached by the, the, the local uh, operators coming to us that they want to have this service. So, so next year for the CES, we can provide this service to you guys. Michael is looking for all entrepreneurs, all entrepreneurs who are looking for an opportunity. Here's one right here. And that's pretty cool. Here at CES, Yes, you could find out about starting your own very own business and it's like the modern day pizza shop without the cash you can put in your pocket um, anyway <laughs> it's all credit card right yeah all right very cool uh, sharing go uh, sharing OS sharing OS what's the site sharing os.com sharing os.com and and do you take a cut of each transaction or you just say no it's this is how much it costs and this is how much it costs a month and that's it yeah so what we charge is a monthly fee for per vehicle right so and that's it. Exactly. Very cool. Sharingos.com. Sharingos.com. He's Michael. I'm Michael. That's Michael Squared. And you, you are the Terrifics. You make me Terrific special. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this live from Las Vegas. Don't go anywhere.